she flew over me and up Tower Road and across Tower Road, and here she is on top of the East ETT1, East Track Tower 1. You can see there's four of them. Yeah, right, and I, I want to get over here to uh, uh, a slightly better angle, over here. And we're going to pop. Okay, so nobody's on Barton, so, so yesterday we had activity at the north end of campus again with the uh, the E that just insisted on sitting there and preening herself on the top of Mann Library and this morning we have this E baby uh huh who is uh All right All right so you didn't see a, a tail flash or anything. Okay. Right, right, right. So, right. So the bird that was on the first base tower, at the same time that the juvie was on the nest tower, Bogat did not, could not confirm a red tail on it. it. Didn't she didn't see a red tail, but she didn't have her binoculars on it, either. But she's got Bogat eyes, so. 
mean, it's possible that it was BR on the first base tower, or or the other juvie, and and that one. Now, is that one beautiful bird or what? Come on, squall for us. I am not paying attention to what too much around me. I'm just watching her. I love it when she squalls. Don't hurt yourself. I think she tried to do something of what Dad did. She she tried to stoop at something here because she flew down from the tower and then she actually touched down on the ground over the fence line into the parking lot area over here and uh, and then immediately wheeled up into the tree. I'm keeping my ear left ear open to see if I can hear another another ju juvester. So this is what happens in the first five minutes you have five to ten minutes you have massive excitement that you may or may not get on the stream and you just have to recollect for folks and then and then you can sit and watch so it's better than wandering around campus looking at empty buildings by far so I'm not in the best place to I've got the sun over here to the east and uh, I can't see all of Humphreys by any means. Uh, I can just see the stacks up above. So I'm not going to be looking around too hard simply because of the fact that she can take off on me. And it's not guaranteed that she'll be squalling when she flies like she usually does or these guys have done. So this looks like E2 to me because of the streaking down the breast. It's not blotchy like E1. But She's got her feathers all floofed out because it's cool out here. Even though I am still wearing a... Here's Baguette. Bye-bye, Baguette. Waving to her as she drives by. She's gonna go... She's gonna go look for... Uh, she's gonna go look for Papa. Because this little one's been chasing Dad this morning from what we've seen anyway. So it's now 7.39 and it's about a half hour since she hit the tree there in front of uh, Ferno Hall. Okay. Okay, Bogat has an adult up campus road. Okay, up on Boyce Thompson Institute, which is uh, right in front of the vet tower, as in the curve of Tower Road, as Tower Road 
comes up to the east and then bounces off the front of the vet research tower and cuts and goes south across campus road and then joins 366. So in the curve there at the east end of Tower Road is Boyce Thompson Institute and mom likes to sit up there. So could be mom or dad. We've got an, she has an adult up there at BTI so she's getting out and gonna go uh, inspect find out who it is. Yes. Now she's she's facing us in her Churchillian pose, but she's looking the other direction. Now are you going to take off on us and go east? I mean, go back toward the tower? What do you see over there? She's interested in something back the other direction from where you are. Oh, she's going to slice. Thank you. Lovely. <laughs> you little stuffed toy. All right, where are you going? Where are you going to go? And off she goes. And she is flying. Yeah, she flew toward the first base tower, or the second base tower. And I'm going back down there now.